I'm Sebastian Davies, a learning experience expert at Dassault Systems. Hello, and welcome to this video on creating a block in draft site. Blocks can be any group of entities bound together to form a single new entity. They help simplify drawings, reduce the overall size of the drawing, and may include attributes that hold custom data entries. We can further enhance blocks by making them custom. Before doing this, we need a block, either new or existing. In this video, we will create a new block from a set of drawing entities. So, let's get started. We have a door that is comprised of a number of distinct entities. This makes moving, copying and modifications more time consuming in general. We can avoid this by simplifying the design and making the door entities into a single block. We do this by using the define block command to group the entities together. We will give the block a name and then define the base point we want to use while inserting it in the future. Next, we will select the entities in the graphics area that will comprise the block. Hold shift, then click to remove entities. Before confirming and creating the block, we will check edit in block editor, as we want to make this a custom block that will accommodate different door sizes and angles. This creates the block, automatically opening it in the block editor with the relevant ribbon command shown. In our next video, we will learn how to apply elements and activities to transform a basic block into one which is custom. 